My name is Jamie and welcome to the vlog for November 11th. It's about 9, check 9.10 tonight. And I did not vlog yesterday and I'm going to get into that right now. I'm just going to launch off into it. Today was Veterans Day. I uh, went out to lunch as a family. That was really nice with a nice discount. Uh, thanks for my husband's military service. Um, and we went to... Uh, the cable store fixed up our internet, so we're going to be saving a good chunk of money on that. So that's awesome, too. But um, I did not vlog last night because I get into this funk. And I'm glad this happened during this vlogging experiment because I think it's something I... Every time this happens, I feel like I've put it behind me. And the fact that it keeps rearing its ugly head proves to me I haven't. Um, so, anyway. Let's get into that. My husband contributes to the household. He does laundry. He does dishes. He tries to make sure we're all taken care of before he goes and plays video games. And it's that's a gigantic improvement, by the way. Um, and it's been really good. Um, and I really appreciate it. And I appreciate him. There's nothing wrong with him playing video games and connecting with friends and family that way. And having some recreation time and all that. Um, my problem is I get jealous. If I'm really detailed looking at it, I get super jealous because um, I don't have anything in my life where I can tune out the world for hours on end. I just don't. Um, I'm not like, he's super excited to pick up his PS5 tomorrow. I don't have anything like that I'm really looking forward to. Like, I'm not really a things person. So for me, really looking forward for a physical thing coming out is one thing. I love to travel and I love theater. I gave up theater um, shortly after we moved here, like after the first year. I did Into the Woods, which was a dream show for me and uh, really helped me kind of find my footing here in Washington. Um, but it took a lot of time, as shows do. There's rehearsals, there's uh, auditions, there's callbacks, there's shows, show dates, you know, who sucks up your weekends, that kind of thing. And even though you love it, the schedule kind of bites, especially if you work as well. So I get it. And he asked me if I would put it on hold or if I would think about taking a step back. And the compromise was we would go to live theater as often as possible. So I have been really excited about some shows, passionate about things like that and travel and um, things put out there on the calendar to do more than things to buy and to own. You know, it's a different kind of experience. That's my jam. Um, but the mental load of being a mom and not having any things on the calendar right now, live action theater is a thing of the possible distant future. <laughs> um, even when it gets going again, it's going to take a while to get ramped up and uh, to be safe enough for us to go. You know, so we have a lot of that. Um, I have a lot of that that I'm missing out on. Travel is also a thing that we're not really doing right now. I've looked into like hyper local experiences and things like that. Like we did the Leavenworth trip, which got smoked out, but we did it. You know, <laughs> it was a beautiful drive through the mountains. Um, I might look into getting an all wheel drive vehicle. I really want a Subaru. So we'll be able to do more of that kind of thing. But like most of my mental power is keeping the family together and the kid alive and the business going. And that's a lot of what I, I have time and energy and mental space for, you know, and I am jealous that he can hop online with his buddies and disappear, you know, into that world for a while. I really like let go and melt and into the game and enjoy his time with his friends and things like that. So my friends are different as usually happens as women age or become moms. Um, we're very busy. There's not a lot of, we pick up the phone and talk for hours. We don't game. I don't know anybody that games much anymore, <laughs> unless their kids are older, um, or they don't have kids. So, and the people that don't have kids, when you ask them for advice on this kind of thing, and I was one of them, so I remember well, um, you just don't understand why it's such a big deal. Um, being a parent when another human being's life depends on yours that's a lot of pressure <laughs> um 
and it's a lot of mental load, you know? So when babies are really small, it seems you have more time to like play video games because I can nurse and play video games at the same time, you know? Um, as you get older, those things fade. She needs me in different ways now. It's like she needs me to help her engage with pretend play. She doesn't have siblings or anybody else to do it with her. Um, things like that and build that trust and trust in the environment and parenting stuff, which is sometimes, um, discipline, sometimes talk, sometimes letting them have their way and leaning into the curb, you know? So I get jealous of that. I really do. And it gets me very angry and quietly resentful, even though I know it's completely illogical because he deserves time with his friends. He's going to disappear from them for half a year at a time. I would never take that away from him. Uh, but I'm jealous that I don't have that <laughs> same, same, uh, ways to connect. Um, it's just not available right to me right now. So I'm going to enjoy a little me time. And since the kiddo's asleep, hop in the bathtub for a bit and, uh, lose myself in a bubble bath. So hopefully I will continue to kind of decrease the stress and all that. But I think that this is a common thing that comes up that people don't talk about because I'm not sure that they understand that some of it. Now, if somebody's completely putting life things on hold for video games, that is a problem. A game is a thing for entertainment. It is art. It is beautiful. They are fun. They are engaging. They have amazing stories to tell. People put a lot of work into this. I respect it. But... It is a thing meant for entertainment, you know, and connection, but entertainment. Same thing with Facebook or anything else, or I mean, drugs, it doesn't matter what it is. If it's not a thing that, you know, is meant to, I don't know. I don't even know where I'm going with that. I'm just going to go take a bath now. Today was better than yesterday. So today was good. Hopefully tomorrow where I have most of the day off will be even better.